Antonovsky takes on Miller and loves this situation. And Miller gives away the free kick and remonstrates with the referee. Lozanovsky is a free-flowing, flanking player. And it was here in the end if you saw the replay. So a free kick to be taken by Butzianis, who scored last week against Gippsland along with uh, George Gutsoulis from a long distance away. Had a lovely go! What a cracker by Con Butzianis! He is renowned for producing something special from the set piece. And it's history repeating itself. In the 13th minute, South Melbourne draw first blood through a moment of brilliance from Con Butzianis. Well, he's been famous for his sweet left boot, and we saw there just dipping it around the corner and gave Franken no chance. Top right-hand corner. In that department, Michael Pekovic, and many believe he is the premier goalkeeper in Australia. I suppose that's up for conjecture with Zolko Kalats and Jason, his brother, just ahead of him. Lovely ball, releasing Coveney down the left. Cuts back inside. Here's a chance for South Melbourne. First time! Lovely strike there by Kombutzianis. The eye of his second in the first half. And it sizzled just past the back post. Now that uh, shows how dangerous South Melbourne can be on the break. A good ball played across the face there from Vaughan Coveney. In space, Butzianis, and the header down, the goal! It's John Anastasiadis, who puts it away from South Melbourne. And that has really sealed the issue. If there was any doubt, it's been dispelled by that man, John Anastasiadis, who scores his ninth goal of the season. And the Lakers are jubilant. They know they have the minor championship in their keeping. The ball played to the back post, the header down. And covering that side was Tony Franken, but not well enough. Lozanovsky threading his way through two. Whips the ball in! And the header just over the crossbar by Butzianis. That was champagne football by South Melbourne. And they really are playing with a deal of confidence here. And Lozanovsky loves thrilling the crowd with this sort of work through both Naven and Scott Miller. And the ball was uh, excellently put onto the head of Kombutzianis. And it was inches away from that uh, crossbar. They haven't cleared it properly, Sydney United. This is dangerous. South Melbourne on the break. Onside, through the middle, as Butzianis past the keeper, must be Anastasiadis, South Melbourne take the lead. Well, they make a habit of goals like that, South Melbourne. That was textbook stuff from the visitors. They absorbed some pressure at the other end, and they were aware of the dangers straight away. The blue shirts got forward, Anastasiadis involved earlier in the move, provides the finishing touch, a dream start for South Melbourne. Paul Trimboli with a lovely weighted ball. Butzianis did the right thing here, passed the keeper, knew where Anastasiadis was, and that's a simple finish. Excellent work by South Melbourne. Uh, Con Butzianis might normally uh, shoot in this situation, but he's uh, unselfishly laid it off to uh, Anastasiadis for the opening goal. Butzianis has produced it from this position before, and he brings up. Late minute save there from Dean Anastasiadis. A sweet left boot has Kombutzianis. Just tipped over at the last moment. We were just talking about that Robbie Wheatley drew the attention. Kombutzianis, well, he's got some experience about him, Kombutzianis. 13 finals games, three finals goals. The 26-year-old, flamboyant, spectacular, 
And he too is an impact player. What a deep bench South Melbourne have. But is it going to count for North? South Melbourne now have the numbers. Three against three, three against four. Boxianas, push pass for Clarkson. First time cross off the barrel. A minute and a half left in regulation. Oh, Trimboli, what vision! The man through Butzianis, no call! Score! Leaf of seven long years, clear to see on the faces of those supporters. 2-1 with a minute remaining. And who was it creating all the havoc in midfield this time? But the maestro himself, Paul Trimboli. Giannis's challenge, although the Carl supporters will be living this memory for a long, long time if they lose it. There's Paul Trimboli, Trimbos plays a beautiful ball, now did he interfere? No. Carl supporters will say yes, South Melbourne will say no. Combus Giannis with the coolest of finishes, 2-1. Well, we talked about the finesse of Paul Trimboli just a moment ago. But that weak shot, well, didn't he make up for it? What vision he showed then just to dolly the pass gingerly into the path of that man, Kombutzianis, on the ground. And talk about Coveney with the steal. The, the Kiwi, Butzianis, will ice the cake. And Butzianis and the South Melbourne supporters can take it on home. Injury time, Kombutzianis. But the victory cha-cha, faster damage his fourth grand final. I can see the infringement may have been offside. Let's see it again. Coveney again. With that delivery around the corner, and it probably was offside. We still can't see the linesman, but the South Melbourne players thought they had scored. So it's still not safe. It's 2-1. Well, it is safe now. And the Ericsson Cup is going back to the Bob Jones Stadium after seven long years. And Kombutianis falls to his knees as much in relief as to Lyon. The correct decision has been made. The corner's been taken. Krakowski whips it in. Bolton in two minds. Jumping with Hay. And it's there. They've equalised the glory. And it's the substitute, Con Butzianis. Well, what a disappointment for Brisbane. And what a marvellous moment for the glory. What a lot of character they've shown as well. Butzianis, with two minutes left, has equalised. And he has silenced the crowd here at Suncorp. Bolton was caught in two minds. Danny Hay got the touch. And no one was picking up Butzianis. Tremendous fight back here by Perth. This is what we're talking about. Throw a few men forward. Get the ball in the box. Cause a bit of danger. Con Butzianis gave the Perth Oval faithful an early Christmas present. Or maybe Butzianis can get this one on target. from Kombutianis' sweet left foot, and there's one for his birthday. Look at this. Gets it over the wall and dips beautifully just under the crossbar out of the big left-hand reach of Adrian Kigals. We see it here again on the replay. Fantastic strike. But Kigals will probably be disappointed that he didn't make a better attempt. When they set that uh, free kick, I really thought that was outside anybody's range to really score. But uh, Butianis, great goal. The glory went in desperate search of an equaliser and a point. When Scott Miller ran into a zebra crossing, Konbutsianis crashed in his fourth of the season.
Perth confirmed their return to top form, having a positive picnic at home to Brisbane. Vas Caligarakis after 23. This was a day when not much would go wrong for the glory. Michael Garcia, a good cross for Edwards, and the keeper could only block it onto the happy head of Bobby Despotowski. Watch out for Kombutsianis. The breeze against him. Four in the wall. That's a beauty! Butsianis just does this time and again. That's his sixth goal of the season. Mike Gibson won't get too many better past him than that. And the Perth Gloria back in the match. Brent Stanger out of the chair. Butsianis boots in number six. Kombutsianis is an absolute world-class free-kick specialist. I've said it before, I can't give him enough raps. You never make a comment when he's shaping up because he does it so often and so well. And against such a big goalkeeper like Mike Gibson, to dip it like that in the top corner is amazing skill, I can tell you, viewers. It's world-class stuff. Look at that. It just gets over there, swerves and dips. And that's where the spiders live up there, I've got to say it. Beautiful stuff. Butsianis will run this down. And re-threatened for Perth. Butsianis into Tchaikovsky. Number three! And that's Michael Garcia. Perth hit the lead for the first time in the game. What composure to come back from 2-0 down. What a sign. And United reminding you have not lost at home this year. Is this their first defeat at Adenza? Well, it's the first time they've conceded three goals here this year. And I'll tell you what, that is world class. All little one touch, two touch stuff. And the last little touch was off the post. Look at this, tight control. And when you're beating players like that, look, a little toe poke there from Tchaikovsky. That is super skill. And he's tucked that away nicely in off the upright. Sensational. What a goal. What a game. Mike Gibson, no chance. Hard to split these sides. Two wins apiece and a draw in their five meetings so far. And they're three all today. So they're well matched. Caligarakis. That's a good cross. And it's in. Butsianis. Con Butsianis for three. That will surely be the winner. Well, that's world-class skills from Kalajarakis. And as you and I said, Rob, is it any wonder we are wondering why he wasn't on earlier? I mean, just look at the way he turns here in the corner. Brilliant left foot cross, and just as brilliant a finish from Kombutsianis, leaving three players in his wake. But just look at the skills of the little pocket dynamo here. Vas Kalajarakis, Velimir Kuprasak, well, he didn't know where he was. Left foot, gem of a cross. An absolute peach, just bends it away, and all he has to do is finish it off with the head. Puts the honest magic today. No chance for the keeper. Despotovsky. Tchaikovsky whips it in. Another good cross. The contact there bounces over the keeper, and puts the honest, puts Perth in front. Maybe an element of luck about that goal, but it's in the back of the net all the same. Just six minutes gone. And they had a warning shot, the Marconi side, with a cross just a minute or so ago. This time, Butsianis got at the end of the ball, played in by Tchaikovsky. The contact didn't look that convincing, but Ante Kovic, well, he didn't read that at all. Butsianis has made good movement through the middle, if he can be found. That's a superb ball from Despotovsky. Butsianis against the keeper. Clean finish there from Con Butsianis. And Perth extend their advantage. He was the player you would want at the end of the movement like that. Con Butsianis, his second of the game, reminiscent perhaps of a goal he scored in the grand final last year. This man is a quality finisher and this was a lovely finish indeed. Great break by the glory, started by Edwards, an important contribution from Despotovsky, and look at that finish from Con Butsianis. This is the pass of the season for me, have a look how well weighted that is, never has to break stride. And how cool is this for finishing South Melbourne supporters must be turning... Travel to Perth to play what turned out to be a ripper.
How's this for an end-to-end -end counter attack by the glory? With Alistair Edwards set free on the left. He took it a good 40 metres before looking up to find Bobby Despotowski, but a magical goal was denied by an offside flag. But Perth's first half dominance wasn't rewarded until the 31st minute with a goal from Konbutsianis. Perth made the early running against Carlton through Robert Tchaikovsky. He had no trouble finding a wide open Con Butzianis. Not exactly a dummy spit by Eddie Krinchevic, but I think we know how he felt about the Blues threadbare defence. Miller, Markowski. Looking for Edwards. Oh, Butzianis. Yes! Butzianis gets one back and Perth is still in this. And the yellow card being given to Cooper Shack. John Markowski delivers it and puts the Arnis as cool as you like, finishes it right in the corner. Beautiful ball from out wide, it's beaten everyone, falls nicely. The Terrible defensive laps cost Gippsland dearly with Manny Gottis' ill-conceived back header finding Butsianos instead of his keeper for a one-goal lead in the 37th minute. Something very, very unique that they're building here. Butzianis, 200th game today. Well, he slips it in quite by accident. Urgic, right foot. Oh, boy! And Urgic lights up the stadium with the opening goal. Inside two minutes, Perth 1-0. can see it on screen, Wadey, 1-0. Sometimes it's good luck. That's all it is. Well, that's exactly what it was. Conversianus was definitely good luck, but Ergic. It's going to be a free kick to Perth again. Butzianis, Tchaikovsky walks away. Alpin in the foreground. Ergic is within distance as well. Wide shot, you can see the trio from top to bottom. It's Butzianis, Ergic and Halpin. I'd like a bet on Butzianis. Oh! Vapor trails on that one. Splinters the woodwork. And away into the crowd. He's got to be the best set piece taker in the country. And he's got some pretty stiff competition in Troy Halpin, Casey Werman and company. But I still think he hits that target more than anybody else. In... It's one each. Butzianis with the corner. Pitches! Is that a double for Erdrich? You see the foot there, Dan. Pop those fists. Ho oh ho! Ten man for glory. And the stadium erupts, right here. I tell you what, it doesn't take much to score a goal from a corner, but the corner has to be delivered in the right area, and that was inch perfect. I think it was Andrew Mouth who was marking him, but he had half a yard to make up his mind. That's all you need. Bang! Thank you very much indeed. Now, you don't want to have a go at the young lad, but Ergic should learn a huge lesson from that. Because he didn't receive, made a magic run forward, and because he didn't receive it from uh, Robert Tchaikovsky when he wanted it, he threw his hands up in the air and turned round in total disgust. Robbie continued, fought and battled, eventually got the cross in. There was no urgent. He was still sulking. Oh, what a save and what a goal. What a moment. What a moment. Anastasiadis had it. And the Perth fans, even here in the grandstand, they're turning around to talk you, Paul Wade, I think. <laughs> they, want have, spot. they want to have a look at our monitors for the replay. Mm -hmm. 
you're going to see this one because Anastasiadis was onto it. And it just had enough backspin to wheel away from him. Puts the artist, what a great assist. Well, it's, I don't know if we'll get a shot of this. I hope we do. Well, I have seen it all here. I have seen it all here at Perth Road. 100 games for the skipper. Naven is Pekovic. McPherson wins it. It's going to come back again. Oh, over the top by Miller was a beauty. But Tiannis couldn't reach it. Despotovsky gets the second chance. Topo through. But Tiannis can ice it on his 200. Oh, baby. Perth are going to win this. Perth Flory are going to win this. Conbutianis, look at him there, the centre of attention. He celebrates his 200th NSL match with yet another glittering assist. You know, his contract is up here at Perth Glory and there's been speculation for a couple of weeks now that he's on the move. Is he going to go to Europe? Is he going to stay in Australia? Where is he going to go? Have a look at this for coolness. Remember the goal for South Melbourne in the grand final? A cool finish, that equals it. Well, Butzianis loves playing against Carlton. He's knocked in goals in the last three occasions he's played against Carlton. That grand final you just mentioned. He got goals against Carlton twice last year. And he's done enough today to say, to put his hand up and say, I did some damage today, boss. And Bert Stanger would scratch his head. Not quite be, not be quite sure what Butzi was on about, I'm sure. Yes, there's no question it is the quickest playing surface in Australia. Butzianis towards the near post. Bullion. Is it going to go over the line? Yes, it is. So, Peter Bullion may have got the last touch. Butzianis with a very, very intelligent ball into the middle. Well, the congratulations go to Butzianis. Did that rebound off Peter Bullion? Whatever the case is in the back of the net, one or Glenn Gwynn takes the free kick. Woman, no trouble getting under it. Edwards, Shroy from behind. Now Tchaikovsky. Flag stays down. Butzianis appeals from Brisbane, go unheated. Butzianis across the face of goal. Oh, penalty given. Absolutely no hesitation from Eddie Lenny. Yellow card for Clint Bolton. Schwartz, the man, felled. There's the clinical breakout from Perth that uh, causes so many teams problems. Well, as suggested, very, very dangerous. Hard to, to run a ruler across that striker when he received that ball. But there's no doubt in my mind it was always going to be a possible scenario for Perth. They got him on the fast break and Bolton was overcommitted. Whether it was a lot of contact there, I can't tell you, but Eddie Lenny certainly made the decision he thought it. And Robert Tchaikovsky takes the penalty and that is his first goal for Perth. Deep into his second season with the club and finally... Tchaikovsky, you can see why the delight, not just that he's put the team in front, but he's finally scored for the glory. And Bolton, ruse, what's happened? Well, he didn't have a lot of support there, Clint Bolton, did he? He was left stranded somewhat. But certainly the quality again of the ball, Butzianis, the extravagant Ex extravagant dive in the end, I've got to say by Swartz, but well finished by Robbie Tchaikovsky. I don't think he's got any pain from that hip flexor at the moment. And the same could be said for Butzianis, who first incurred the wrath of a tenacious line, and then with a trademark bomb, just failed to negotiate Petkovic's reach. Coveney through the middle. It's got Vlahos right. He didn't have to spot an option in the end. He'll draw the free kick. Steve Horvath. Look at that old... 
National Trust grandstand in the background. Of course, used here. Butzianis drills one in. What a great pickoff from the goalkeeper. Well, Butzianis just hit that one like a heat seeker. It just kept coming back and coming back. But there's maybe 30 seconds. Tops. One each, the score. Sousa off the line! Robbie Middleby with the big save. Middleby the man on this spot. We get a corner. Well, a thumping finish at Bob Jane. Sousa glancing header on from Caligaragos and off the line from Robbie Middleby. Sousa. Lovely ball from Sousa. Butzianis, can he bring it down? Aseski got a touch, but it's forced home by Paul Trimboli. And the old double team of Butzianis and Trimboli comes good again for South Melbourne. Credit to Zelko Sousa. A clever ball over the top of the Marconi defence. Butzianis was on the end of things and Trimboli forced it home. Oh, it was the, uh, the running player from the middle of the park that got them the goal. At Bob Jane Stadium, the Melbourne derby had a fiery start with Con Butzianis brought down in the area. 14 minutes in and Paul Trimboli slammed home South Melbourne's first. Butzianis was looking dangerous down the left. Trimboli almost had a second. In the 60th minute, Butzianis unleashed one of the best weapons in Australian soccer. Monopolis with the volley. It's been spilled by Smith, turned home by who else but Paul Trimboli. And that might be the goal which wins the game for South Melbourne. Just look at Trimmers, he's the furthest forward in the blue shirt on the edge of the six yard box. Nobody really picking him up. Red, th red shirt standing around, sorry, white shirts. Just have a look for Trimmers. There he is, the furthest man. He's just having a look across. Three white shirts standing there while Paul tapped it into the back of the net. Lozanowski at the near post. Kisnorbo is forward as well. And Caligarakos with a half volley over the bar. Sousa. And that's a clever ball from Sousa. Butzianis across the face of goal. And that is the ball game. Goran Lozanowski ends the brave resistance from Canberra. The goal coming from close range. Those travelling South Melbourne fans know the three points are in the back. Andy Vlahos has been in great form this year. And his goal in the 75th minute put South Melbourne in the driver's seat for top spot on the table. But South Melbourne wasn't finished yet. The third goal of extra time coming courtesy of Konbutsianis. Butzianis then tried his luck with a speculative drive. This time it was the woodwork getting in the way. But then goal poacher Andy Vlahos.